November 6, 2007. On the road to Chicago, in the desert of Arizona right now. I don't know if you can see the uh, Segura cactus behind me. Taking a little break. Did a run in Palm Springs this morning up the uh, aerial tramway access road, the same road that I did the race on a few weeks back. And uh, gonna do a run this afternoon in Sedona. Maybe spend the night in Flagstaff, and tomorrow I'll be running in Santa Fe. See you on the road. It's November 7th, 2007. I'm in Sedona, Arizona. Last night did a great run here in Sedona. Did some hard hills. I uh, did a little exercise routine at the gym at the hotel. But uh, about to head up to Flagstaff and do another run there and get on the way. I'm trying to uh, keep up my mileage, even though we're driving like between, you know, 300 to 500 miles a day. Still doing a run in the morning and a run in the evening every night. So, Sedona, how can you beat this? It's incredible. November 7th, 2007. I'm in Flagstaff, Arizona, going for a run on the FUTS, FUTS, Flagstaff Urban Trail System. If you can see it behind me, Flagstaff has dirt trails that run throughout the city, so you can pretty much run from any one point in the city to another on these dirt trails that follow the creek beds through town. So I'm going to go for a half hour run, get back in the car, and try to make it to Colorado Springs today. Long day of driving. Flagstaff is a mecca for elite runners. The altitude, close to 7,000 feet, makes it a great place to do altitude training. The fact that the city is surrounded by one of the largest pine forests in North America makes it a great place to trail run. There's hundreds and hundreds of miles of trails surrounding the city, all through pine forests. So you get nice shady stuff. The climate is perfect. Summer's not too hot. Winter's not too cold, so you always get really nice running temperature. It's at the base of the San Francisco Peaks. Mount Humphreys behind me is the highest point in Arizona at over 12,000 feet. The altitude is affecting me a lot today here at Flagstaff, but last night running in Sedona at 4,500 feet, I did a really hard run, but didn't feel the altitude at all. But at 7,000, I'm really feeling it. And also, um, it's really cold. My hands are freezing. Gotta be in the low 30s up here. Uh, it's about eight in the morning. And there's a lot of wood smoke in the air. Uh, I guess a lot of people um, have wood stoves. So the air is dirtier than LA. It's kind of kind of weird. My mouth is freezing on me, so I'm having a hard time enunciating with my lips because they're very cold. I gotta get back to the car and get on the road. See you in a bit. It's November 8th, 2007. I'm in the Garden of the Gods Park, just outside of Colorado Springs, Colorado. Doing an early morning run. It's about eight in the morning. On our way to Chicago for the Sears Tower, and I uh, thought this would be an amazing place to run. I mean, look around. You got Pikes Peak in the distance. You got these beautiful red rock formations and cliffs everywhere. And about 6,400 feet here, I'm feeling the altitude. And a great way to stretch the legs out, especially on a long trip. You got to keep blood moving. So doing a run before the long day of driving and doing a run at the end of the long day of driving. Last night in Pueblo, Colorado, where I spent the night, I ran on a treadmill. I hate treadmills, but it was dark, it was cold, had to get the run in, and uh, so I ran two miles on a treadmill. But this morning I'm making up for it. So we're going to take a little 45 minute run here and I'll show you the scenery. Enjoy. Now as I'm driving cross country, I'm checking out places that I may want to relocate to. For instance, Flagstaff, Arizona, Santa Fe, New Mexico, neither one of which really appealed to me. They didn't have what I needed. But Manitou Springs, Colorado, where I am right now in the Garden of the Gods, 6,400 feet in elevation. Some of the best mountain runners and runners in the world live in this town, about 7,000 people. Really pretty, historic downtown, the base of Pikes Peak, Garden of the Gods to run in every day. Great climate, clean air, culture. You got Denver and Colorado Springs not too far away. So uh, this might be the spot. Manitou Springs topping the list. It's November 9th. 2007, two days before the Sears Tower. I'm in the middle of my cross-country road trip in Des Moines, Iowa. You can see the uh, state capitol building behind me. Uh, five days in the car, legs are feeling sluggish, so I'm out here for a run, trying to do two runs a day to get the legs moving. Real cold here today, it's in the 30s. Woke up, it was 32 degrees, now it's about 35, so um, my mouth isn't working that well. I'm not used to the cold yet, but uh, I better get used to it soon because I'm going to be in Vermont for a few months. Um, Iowa, nice state. I'm really enjoying Iowa. Lots of rolling farm country. 
It looks like Vermont without the mountains, just rolling farms, where Vermont you'd have rolling farms and then mountains behind them, but Iowa's looking pretty. It's a nice state. Iowa gets two thumbs up. I don't recommend taking a five-day cross-country trip before a big race, but I didn't have a choice this time. So uh, I'll make do. I'll do the best I can under the circumstances. All right, I'm going to run some more. Believe it or not, there's actually some really nice fall foliage here in Des Moines, but they're not maple trees, they're oak trees. Now, I grew up on a farm in Vermont with the most stunning display of fall foliage you can possibly imagine. We had a sugar maple grove behind the house. But one of the things that my dad taught me, maple trees look great from a distance, but oak trees you have to appreciate close up. It's in each individual leaf. Now, most people want to go to Vermont and New England to look at the maples changing colors. But anywhere that's got oak trees, all you have to do is pick up an individual leaf and you can appreciate the fall beauty in that one leaf.